Hey guys, Andrew here, and I'm gonna show you five ways to get motivated to work out. The first one is look at your pain. You see, humans do things for two reasons. One, to get away from pain, or two, to go towards pleasure. So right now, you're associating the gym with pain, so you don't wanna go, why would you? You know, you're going to the gym and you think, man, my chest is gonna be sore, man, I'm gonna be so tired. Obviously, you're not gonna do that. So what you do is, you think about what causes you mental pain, right? Was it your girlfriend staring at a guy who looks like really ripped and is in great shape? Is it your family making fun of you for being out of shape? Whatever it is, feel that pain. Allow yourself to feel that pain of, of not being in shape. And then when you look at the gym, that pain doesn't look so bad. Number two is discipline. So this is basically the opposite. So instead of looking at your emotions and, and trying to rile yourself up, just do it regardless of how you feel. That's how discipline works, right? Your goals don't really care about your feelings, right? So if you can do the same, if you can ignore your feelings like, ah, oh, today I'm, I'm, I'm not in the mood and do it anyway, that's the best way to get things done, right? Because you're not always gonna feel motivated, but sometimes you don't feel like going to work, right? But you still go to work, you know? Or, you know, let's say that you're a, a father and, and you don't feel like making food for your kid. What are you gonna do, let your kid starve? No, you're gonna do it anyway, regardless of how you feel. And the gym is the same thing, just do it regardless. Number three is accountability. Uh, one time, you know, I have my one of my best friends. I, I was really tired one day and I didn't feel like going to the gym and I went to take a nap, right? I was gonna bail on him. So he showed up at my mom's house. I was living with my mom. She let him in and he beat me with a pillow until I woke up and went to the gym with him, right? So having someone keep you accountable like that is really good. But a lot of the time, maybe they'll keep you accountable with your workouts, you know, as a workout partner, but they're not keeping you accountable with your diet. So um, I do do one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you want to apply, see if we could work together, you can click the link in my bio, and, you know, apply for that. Um, I don't work with everyone, so you're going to have to go through an application process. But yeah, I could also keep you accountable and make sure that you're hitting your diet goals and make sure that you're hitting your gym goals. Number four is looking at your boots. You see, a lot of the time you might be looking over at the top of the mountain, right? And it, and it might be so demotivating to you, right? So what people who hike, what they do is they look at their boots and they just focus on taking the very next step, right? They just focus on taking that next step and they don't look up at the mountain because it's demotivating. You know, if you look at that six pack or if you look at building all that muscle, that might feel so far away. So instead of focusing on the goal, which makes you bitter, you should focus on the process, which makes you get better, right? So did I go to the gym today? Yes, I have permission to feel happy, right? Instead of have, do I finally have a six pack? No, okay, I'm gonna be sad until I finally have a six pack. That's a really quick way to get demotivated. So instead, attach your positive emotions to getting it done instead of attaching your positive emotions to only when you reach the goal. Number five is having a solid workout schedule. You know, it could be hard going to the gym when you don't know what you're gonna do at the gym, right? Like saying, Monday I'm gonna do chest or Thursday I'm gonna do shoulders. When you know what days you have to hit what, it's way easier to go to the gym because you have a plan versus when you don't know what you're gonna do, you, you might be thinking, oh, what am I gonna do at the gym anyway? Or I don't know if I should train today. If you have a schedule of when you should train, you know if you should train today versus just like going in and doing random stuff. If you want me to make your workout plan, you can also click the link in the bio and apply to work with me. Um, and again, I, I'm only having taking a, like five people at a time, so it's it's not something that's available for everyone. So just apply below. And uh, yeah, those are the five ways to stay motivated for the gym. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you want more videos, just click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.